Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for blowing up when I found that my husband recorded my therapy session? My, 26 female, mom passed away in December. It was hard for me to process what happened. I have to say, me and mom had a lot of issues between us. There's so much that I couldn't say to her, and I'm struggling with grief. My dad is deceased and my mom was my remaining parent, and growing up, I had many issues with her. I went no contact with her several times, then I reconnected with her, then we'd get into an argument again and the same thing happened. I feel bad for not trying enough to fix the situation, and I keep getting shamed by family members, asking if I'm happy now that my mom is gone, but how can someone be happy when their mother passed away? I'm a mess, plus I'm 5 months pregnant after 2 miscarriages and it's been difficult. I started therapy 2 weeks ago, it's online therapy. I go into the bedroom and I have my session with my therapist, and I ask my husband to not come into the room or interrupt, after he insisted he wanted to be in the room but wasn't allowed. He then started coming in several times, just barging in, bringing me coffee or water, but I know it's a way for him to hear something. I got annoyed, so I told him he was causing me so much stress and he stopped coming into the room. Two days later, my husband stopped asking me questions all of a sudden. Stopped insisting on being in the room, stopped interrupting my sessions. I thought he finally got it. But yesterday as I was doing some cleaning, I heard my own voice coming from the bedroom. I was puzzled so I walked into the bedroom, and found my husband with his phone on his ear listening to my voice. I then realized that he recorded my voice during my therapy session and was playing the recording. I asked him about it, he said it was nothing, then he admitted it was a recording of my therapy session. I lost it. I blew up and I started yelling at him. He told me to calm down, that it was no big deal, and that he was just curious to know, and also wanted to figure out what my problem is and maybe help out. I told him it wasn't his place, and just because we're married, doesn't mean he can disrespect me and be inconsiderate of my feelings. This is a very important thing to me, and he kept saying, I'm sorry but I just couldn't help it. I was infuriated. There were things between my mom and I that I find hard to talk about, and I found what he did disrespectful. I walked out and he kept saying I overreacted, and that he's not a stranger, he's my husband. I went to stay with my sister who said I was harsh on him and shouldn't have reacted this way. He apologized and said he already deleted it. Even said that I can take a few days to stay with my sister to calm down after he saw how much I was mad. I should mention that he mentioned several times that he was worried about me because I haven't been talking to him much. And I understand he was worried, but that is not an excuse. Information, I'm sorry I forgot to mention my husband's age. He's 31. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole, red flags here, red flags there, here, there, here, there, red flags everywhere. Edit, Jesus Christ people, I get that red flags are a stereotype on this sub, but does it really make me such a hive-minded guy to point out a clear problem? I am not saying OP needs to break up with her significant other, I'm just saying this story indicates problems that need addressing. How generous of him to give her a couple days to calm down after he violated her therapy. This is bad OP. Yes, and calm down by her going to the inconvenience of moving to her sister's for a few days, rather than him giving her space and making his own arrangements. What a generous, thoughtful guy. Not the a-hole. Your husband is a massive a-hole though. What got to me was when he kept repeating, I'm sorry but I just couldn't help it. A version of those words were said to me by my ex-husband. When I had finally had enough of his emotionally abusive behavior, I told him I wanted a divorce. He countered. In a bid to change my mind slash apologize, I knew I was being mean to you, I just couldn't help myself. At that moment, it felt like the world stopped, became dead silent, and I could hear a record screech. I looked into my ex's eyes and realized very chillingly that I had no idea who the hell I married. The fact that he had no issue whatsoever in being cruel to me and justifying it that he just couldn't help himself, scared the living crap out of me. I understood very clearly that this man was a danger to me and I needed to get gone. It's been 10 years, and to this day I will never forget what he said, because at that moment he revealed exactly who he was. Your husband is the same way OP. He has just shown you exactly who he is. He has no respect for you. His claim that he wants to help you is a lie. He wants to know what makes you tick so he can use that information to manipulate you in future. A true partner does not disregard the other's boundaries, does not surreptitiously record a private conversation, and most importantly, he wasn't planning on being caught. This man is giving you a clear picture of what the future holds should you stay. It took me 13 years to leave my ex, 
Please don't waste your life looking over your shoulder at what the next thing your husband will do. Oh hell no. Let's see here. Ignored your boundaries when you asked him for privacy. Continue to ignore your boundaries when you reiterated. Only stopped interrupting or trying to listen when he secretly recorded your private session with your therapist. Still hasn't apologized, and is one. Telling you to calm down, two. Saying that you overreacted, and three. Present himself as the good guy because he's trying to help. OP, schedule a session with therapist immediately, and talk over how you are going to establish boundaries if you choose to remain in this marriage. This is a huge violation, your sister is also an a-hole for questioning your reaction. He violated your innermost thoughts. He ignored your nose, and pushed ahead without consent for emotions that you did not willingly give him. You are not the a-hole, and I hope you can find a safe place to gather your emotions, talk to your therapist, and determine your next steps. Unless your husband does a 180 and recognizes that he was 100% in the wrong here and has a lot of fixing of himself, you should get out now. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for pouring my husband's sweet tea down the drain and marching out? I lost my part-time job due to COVID and I've basically become a little housewife. I'm fine with that, as that's always been my role in my relationship anyways. It's just less hard to keep up with now. I'm also in school for nursing. But obviously I am doing that from home. My husband works full time and works hard. His commute to work is very long, over an hour each way. We go running together every day, and because I know it's a lot of stress for him, we meet 20 minutes away from our home, so he doesn't have to come home and drive back out. He calls me when he's 20 minutes away, and I leave. Today, I was 7 minutes late as I had to turn off all the lights and get myself together before leaving the house. When I got there, he copped a major attitude with me for being late. Refused to even speak to me. For being 7 minutes late. I tried to explain that I had to put my shoes on and turn out the lights, but he wouldn't talk to me. The run was very awkward and when we got home, he said that he felt he had every right to be angry, and stomped off upstairs. I've had a lot of pent up feelings about the fact that he has always expected me to be at his beck and call. It's like he thinks the whole world revolves around his time schedule because I lost my job. Anytime he's hungry thirsty. He yells my name. He doesn't even serve his own plates anymore. It's like he thinks I just sit in the dark with my hands folded, waiting for him to call. At this point, I knew he was being ridiculous, and I was just so upset. That I did something that may make me the a-hole. When he came downstairs, I told him that he could make his own dinner, his own lunch tomorrow for work, and I looked him straight in the eye as I poured the pitcher of sweet tea I make him every week down the drain, and I said, you can make your own freaking sweet tea too, you ungrateful brat. And I walked out and drove to my mom's house. So, am I the a-hole for that overreaction? I was just so annoyed. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. I felt like the everybody sucks crowd had a point, until I saw he's 31 and you're 19, and he specifically wanted a housewife. Look, age gap relationships can work out fine and be perfectly healthy, provided the older partner treads with care. He has an obligation to be especially mindful, patient, kind, and to make your needs and comfort the focus of the relationship. He should be letting you guide everything, following your lead, and not concerning himself with what he wants. Otherwise he's just an exploitative creep. Hmm. No. 19 and 31 is never gonna be okay. That means at 30, he went out and found a girl that was legal by the skin of her teeth and married her as fast as he could. That is so deeply not okay. I mean, Clearly this dude was looking for a hot young bandmate, but I don't see any scenario where a 30-year-old can go after an 18-year-old without being a creep. This, typically when people do creepy stuff like that, it's because they can't get a person in their own age group, because there is something troubling about them. It sounds like this dude has major low self-esteem and insecurity issues. I am a year younger than this guy. I would run for the hills once I saw a red flag that intense. Same with the expecting a subservient housewife. Okay so there's a lot here. Girl, you're 19. You and this man are not equals. He thinks of you more as a maid than as a partner, and that's not going to change. You've got a whole life to live, and you can't limit yourself to serving an older man who doesn't care about you forever. Leave. Find a job, even a crappy one for now. Find local food pantries. If you can't afford a cheap place right now, try to stay with friends. You are worth so much more than this. Nothing wrong with being a housewife but only in a fair partnership which this is clearly not. Go live your life. Not the a-hole.
Please leave before he locks you down with babies. I was going to say you probably overreacted a little bit, but then I saw that you were 19 and he is 31? Of course you overreacted, you are still just a kid at that point, who was spotted by a 30-year-old man as being vulnerable. He has groomed you, and placed you in exactly the position he wanted, a young girl he can screw and keep tied to the house and to him. He got mad about 7 minutes because he is training you to be scared of letting him down at all, or be even 7 minutes late to something, so by getting angry, he expected you to roll over like the dog he thinks you are and beg for forgiveness. It must have been a shock to him that you didn't do that, and I'm honestly very concerned about you going back to that house where he could possibly punish you. Please be careful. Update. I deleted my edits because I wanted to do an update, as I see a lot of kind, wonderful people so concerned about my well-being. I want to thank each and every one of you for being so supportive. I don't have any friends anymore, and all the messages and comments have made me feel like I have a support group. For now, I am staying at my parents indefinitely. My mom is helping me write a list of all the reasons I want to stay, and all the reasons I'd like to leave. I have always been a very independent person, and I think I've been lying to myself about my situation for a long time. I called him to tell him I wouldn't be coming home and he didn't really seem to care much, which did hurt a lot. Either way, I am going to get through this and I'm gonna get my degree. For those of you concerned about kids, don't worry, I have an IUD. Again, thank you all so much. Your love and support means more to me than I can express. The next story is titled. Am I the a-hole for telling my wife, play stupid games win stupid prizes, after she complained about my mom? My mom can be kind of horrible. My wife and I make the conscious decision not to go no contact. She has a difficult family too, and no contact isn't worth it to us. She has always been witchy towards my wife, and my stepbrother's wife when they were married, but she treats the only son-in-law like a god. Six months ago, we all went on vacation and my wife and our then sister-in-law were drinking and decided to prank my mother. They egged and floured her, and yes it was immature, but I thought it was great. My mom was pissed, but everyone in the house was super proud of them. Well, Syl is out of the picture now and we spent the weekend at my mom's vacation house. My wife went to bed early and I was hanging out with my stepbrother. My mom decided it was payback time and poured maple syrup on my wife, and then threw a mixture of feathers and glitter at her. I'm less inclined to find this funny, because glitter is the devil, but payback is a witch. My wife was hysterical and screaming at my mom. My stepdad told her to grow up and that she started it. My wife wanted me to be mad at my mom, and I said she played a stupid game and won a stupid prize. Now she is mad at me for not supporting her. Now for the top comments. Everyone sucks here. Your mom does not sound like the only toxic person here. You and your wife are quick to criticize her but are also happy to enjoy the vacation house. A prank war might feel cathartic in the moment, but it's not going to make things better in the long run. I think everyone needs to take a step back and assess how their own actions are contributing to this dynamic. OP barely mentions the vacation house, in fact, the way I read it is they enjoyed the holiday and the rest of the family, but not necessarily the mom or all of the house. They also didn't help with either of the pranks, and were saying their wife started it and implied she should stop it too. Everyone sucks here. All of you have to stop being immature. Yeah, WTF. Sounds like a secondary school with all the pranks and stupid immature behavior. So you loved them assaulting your mother, and you loved your mother assaulting her. Everyone sucks here. Congrats, y'all deserve each other. The last story is titled. Am I the a-hole for supporting my husband is not going to his sister's pregnancy announcement? My husband, 32 male, and I, 31 female, have been together since high school, married in college and have been longing to have children for 8 years now. Both our daughters were stillborn and this has left a lasting impact on us. We are not eligible to foster or adopt, so fertility treatments are our only option and they are expensive. As well as that we found an issue that has caused both my daughters to be stillborn so the pregnancy will be more expensive. It's been rough, but we are hoping to start a round of IVF later in the year or early next year. My husband has a complicated relationship with his sister, 29 female. They were never super close, he finds her spoiled and very bratty, but then one of his friends started dating her after she graduated high school and it damaged his friendship, which made his friend decide the relationship wasn't working. She has never forgiven him for that. The day we lost our first daughter was the day she told him she was pregnant with her and her husband's first child. 
She knew what we were going through and told him behind the backs of the rest of the family. Even her husband didn't know until we got home, and her and my husband had a fight about it. Since then, she has had two more children. Now she is expecting again. They announced it a couple of weeks ago at a family dinner she invited everyone to. But her husband gave mine a heads up about it, and he chose not to go because he didn't want a fight to start when she started to talk about how easy it is to get pregnant, and how more people should get pregnant. This has happened at her other two announcements and it has caused tension in the past. One time, she directly asked me when I was going to give her brother a child, which stung and invalidated our daughters. As well as poked at a very sore subject, the fact we were never able to bring our children home. Anyway, the family and her found out my husband chose not to attend knowing what it was, and they were pissed, and then when I told them to consider why my husband chose not to go, they got extra pissed at me. They said as his wife and part of their family, I should have supported him in doing the right thing, and made him realize it was important to be there. His sister told me I can't make her pregnancy all about her. I told her that was why we weren't there. I told her I did not hold anything against her being pregnant, but it's not easy for us. I didn't get into her behavior because honestly, it never does anything anyway. But apparently now I'm the number one bad guy in this. Because as a woman, I should have known how important having all the family there would be. Am I the a-hole? The only reason I am asking this, is because part of me wonders if there is some truth to it all. That I should have encouraged him to be there despite everything. Because I know the expectation is you are still able to celebrate others have babies even if you can't. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. While the pregnancy is all about her as it should be, she's known for throwing it in your face, and that's not cool. I'm an internet stranger and I approve your actions. Not the a-hole. Your sister-in-law may very well be the worst person on the face of the earth though, thinking that world revolves around her uterus. I can't imagine how people can be so selfish and insensitive. I'm so sorry for your losses, and you have an internet stranger's best thoughts for your IVF journey. Not the a-hole, if your scenario doesn't count as special dispensation for not attending that sort of thing I don't know what does. That she acts like that in the full knowledge of your past, is absolutely disgusting. Specifically, one time. She directly asked me when I was going to give her brother a child. Is the reason that you can always forever use to just exclude that person from your life. If she said that with full knowledge of your past, then she evidently has no heart and isn't worth spending any time on. I'd say something like, I did, we had two beautiful girls, and as you know they both died. Would you like to discuss my dead babies further with the family, or shall we focus on your baby instead? If that doesn't make the family see how horrible that sister is, I don't know what will. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.